exercise for listening, writing, reading, and speaking. Listen to the audio script carefully. Take notes. Then listen again critically. Finally, write in your words what you understood from the excerpt. A heart-touching real incident to touch your heart. In 1987, Bai Fangli, a 74-year-old rickshaw puller, came back to his hometown planning to retire from his back-breaking hard job. There, he saw children working in the fields because they were too poor to afford school fees. Bai returned to Tianjin in China and went back to work as a rickshaw puller, staying next to the railway station. He waited for clients 24 hours a day, ate simple food, and wore discarded second-hand clothes he found. He gave all of his hard-earned earnings to support children who could not afford education. In 2001, he drove his rickshaw to Tianjin Yaho Middle School to deliver his last installment of money to the poor children. Nearly 90 years old, he told the students that he couldn't work anymore. All of the students and teachers were moved to tears. In total, Bai had donated a total of 350,000 yuan to help more than 300 poor students continue with their studies. In May 2005, Bai fell ill and was admitted to a hospital. He was found to have lung cancer. He had been in a deep coma for about 20 days and died at the age of 93. What a great man leaving behind an inspiring legacy. If a poor rickshaw puller who wore used clothes and had no education can support 300 children to go to school, imagine what you and I can do with the resources we have to bring about positive change in our world. What did you think of this story? What do you think was the lesson you learned from this story? Do you think Bai was really an inspiring man for all the efforts he put in? How do you think the students who benefited from his donations are doing right now? And do you think that the students who got donation through him are going to repay kindness around the world?